Students for Stat game coming up March 27th. The biggest game in BHS history this year. Hello and welcome to the student versus staff basketball game here at BHS. I'm Michael Mendez, alongside me is co-host Brian Pita. We are very excited to be here today and we have a great lineup with tons of talented players on both teams. Wouldn't you agree, Brian? Yes, Michael, I agree. It's the biggest rivalry in BHS history today. And I'll tell you one thing, this sold out crowd is ready to go and they are excited for tip off. And getting right into it, we have breaking news from the staff sideline. Mr. Papa Pedro won't be playing today due to a leg injury. Now, Brian, that sounds like a big loss for the staff. It could potentially be a key factor to the students winning the whole game. Now, is there anything else we should look out for? Well, this roster we have today is one of the most talented we have seen in years from the students. We have players from the, the boys basketball state playoff team like Andre Vitale, Anthony Vicioso, Brian Ramirez and Jeff and Jacob, who's actually coaching the students today. And coaching the staff, we have Principal Mr. Fasano. And now I'm pretty sure we also have some more star players to look outside out for on both teams. We have Owen Gonzalez and Vice Principal Mr. Ragasa. Brian, tell me a little bit about Owen. Owen's one of the best soccer players in BHS this last decade. He's a first team all league player, third team all county, and played in the Bergen County All-Star Game and led the soccer team to the county tournament. He knows what it takes to win, and today he told me he wants to lead this team back to victory after back-to-back -back years with losses to the staff. Now let me tell you a little bit about Vice Principal Mr. Ragasa. He is a former head basketball coach here at BHS for eight years. In high school, he played at Dwight Englewood as a guard. And in last year's game, he scored eight points and had a crucial assist that helped secure the victory for the staff. And now we give our attention to center court where we are ready for the game. It's gonna go down. It's fine. All right. Hello, hello, everybody. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in right now. We are doing some current introductions to both teams right now. Alongside me is Brian Pita. Once again, I am Michael Mendez. Thank you, guys, for tuning in to the student versus staff game here at Bergenfield High School. And Michael, I'm so excited for this game to finally start. We've been waiting all week for this, all the hype. And, and Michael, before the game starts, let's get into our predictions. Who do we think is coming out victorious today? You know, I don't know. It's really hard to tell. Um, we got, the, you know, the staff. They're missing a couple of key players that have helped win in the past. But they're looking pretty strong. And the students, you know, they, they, they talk a lot of smack all the time. So it's really hard to tell who's going to win, who's going to, you know. But my prediction, I'm going to give it to the staff because, you know, they're back-to-back -back champions for the past two years. So, uh, yeah, that's my prediction. What about you? Well, I think the students have it today. Really athletic roster. And this team really wants to win. And there are a lot of winners in their sports. And I think they're going to be able to get the job done today and end this two-year drought that they have. All right.
All right, hello, hello, everybody. As we're getting ready for the game, you know, I just kind of wanted to give out a little quote. I Oh, I believe we are doing the national anthem right now. So I'll do the quote in a minute. Uh, let's uh, rise for the national anthem. All right, we are back, and you know, before the national anthem, I was going to read off a quote um, I had gotten from the head coach of the staff, Principal Mr. Fasano. Now, he says, teachers are going to come out aggressive, play defensively, and rely a bit on turnovers to win the game. You know, Brian, I want to hear what you think uh, about this. I want to hear what you think about the strategy. Tell me if you think it's good. What do you, you know? What are your thoughts? I think it's a great strategy. They came out with a great game plan every single year, back-to-back -back winners, and defense does win championships. So if they can lock up this student team, which they, everyone here could score the ball, so if they just need to lock them up, and they'll be victorious today. Got it. Got it. All right, so tip off. Inserted. And Lappy starting with a rebound already. There he is. I spoke to Lappy before the game. He's he wants a triple double today and another victory. It looks like Mr. Pop has the ball. He went for the shot and it missed. No good air ball, not even close. All right, we got Francisco going down court. He's got the ball. Francisco, beautiful pass. Passes up shot. an open shot. Ooh. Oh, no good. Frank, Francisco with the rebound. Beautiful rebound by Frank. Ball is moving around fast. Daniela with the ball. Patel at the top. Patel passes it Nathan out. Nathan Kenoni is with the ball. Love seeing him out there. Three-pointer, no the good. Shot, no good. Daniela with the ball. Daniela's oh, dribbling. Beautiful pass. Go for another shot. Santos and with the, the bucket. students start off the game with the lead, 2-0. Their goal shot dribbling it down. He wants to take Francisco one on one. Oh, kicks it Townsend out. Townsend with the ball. Oh, she had both. 
beautiful Andre. steal by Vettel. Oh my god, this is amazing. The six Andre foot six Vettel. Through and he misses the layup. Mr. Papa with the ball. Oh, passes it. Ooh. Long pass. Long pass across the court. Miss Townsend does not get it. Francisco runs back down. Layup. And misses. Oh, so good. And Miss Townsend. Miss Townsend. Cherry picking. Goes for the <laughs> Goes to get the pass. Lappy with the hustle. Lappy with it. Oh, there should have been a foul Lappy call misses. there. What do you think about that? That should have been a that foul. That should have been a foul. Lappy's it. furious. I'm furious. Daniela B3, no good. Mr. Regasa with the ball. Slowly walking it down. Starts to move. Mr. Regasa, big piece to the staff win last year. Gold shot three, Goal no good. Shot, no good. Watch the ball. And subs coming already. We have Gabe Perez, Sammy, and Ryan Alberto into the game already. All right. Gabe Perez, Gabe Perez I like ball. this sub and get him into yeah, the game early. Yeah, I love early. Gabe Perez. I love seeing him on the court. You know, he just had a great football season. And, you know, we all know he's a multi-athlete. So, it's it's great to see him out there. Passes it to Isabella Melendez. She starts moving down court. Beautiful pass. Ooh, oh, pass no. to Sammy and it does not go through. Risky pass. Miss Townsend hits it out of bounds. Alberto. Wow. Swings it. it. Nathan from three. No Nathan, good. No good. I love how Nathan is running around out here in sweatpants. You know, I can tell the reason he's doing it is because he's used to wrestling. Wrestlers love practicing and in sweatpants. Gabe just can't get there. Oh, wow. So close. You don't see many mistakes from Gabe. <laughs> Coach Jeff and Jacob seems furious. That should have been a free two points. They are yelling at their team. Miss Burkheiser. Burkheiser with the, with the oh. pump fake. Burkheiser. Oh, a no the... good shot. This time. Oh, my God. Maybe it was just an alley -oop it was a good to her we'll best friend, Miss Townsend. Is that right? Alberto from Burn. downtown. What an amazing shot. The students are up. It looks like we had a quick timeout for a And that Alberto time shot, they're going to give him a two-pointer for that. That was amazing. Wow. Coach Jeff and Jacobs already oh, there furious. We go. Oh, wow. Beautiful pass. What an amazing pass. And a look. Wow. The students should be ashamed of, the, of themselves. Like, how do, you, how do you miss that? Alberto, he's hot. But you know, can't get it to go this time. Students don't seem to have too much luck when they're down there. Mr. Alvarez passes it out to Goldshaw. Goldshaw's looking to find someone. He's dribbling down he's the looking, floor. He's looking, man. Alberto takes him one-on-one. -on -one. We like that. We like that. We love to see the aggression. Oh, and Goldshaw. he is moving. Oh. No good. Anthony Vicioso being guarded by Lappy. <laughs> Looks like someone has lost their shoe. Sammy DeLone. Lost his shoe. But it's more, okay. He's getting back in there. More subs in oh, Aaron Cruz out. and Eric Paez. And, you know. And something about Aaron Cruz. This is a back-to-back -back New Balance national athlete. We love he seeing Aaron speed. Cruz out there with, you know, with such passion for the sport. This is an X factor to the students team. Oh, we got Eric Paez. You know, Eric Paez and Aaron Cruz, they were both on the football team together. They have a great chemistry with each other, so I expect to see good things from each other. In and Anthony Vicioso with an amazing shot. That's what he does. He, he's he been doing it all season. Beautiful shot. I'm not surprised that one didn't Miss go. Miss Burkheiser gets the pass, misses the layup. Anthony with the ball again. Just had an amazing shot. Anthony's hot. He's feeling himself. And he gets and it he to go again. Another one. That's his type of shot. He's wow. been doing it all season long. Wow. 
Gold saw. Oh my saw goodness. Oh my Beautiful God. Moves. Oh. Almost had the and one there for Looks a second. Like Ryan Alberto, he is not looking happy. He can't believe that call. And personally, I don't think that was a foul. I think Alberto has every right to be mad right now. Goldshaw's at the free throw line, taking his two free Let's throws. See. He does not make the first free throw. Oh! Whoa! They are. The students seem to be very over exaggerating their shots. And, and Aaron, Aaron Cruz, Cruz with an amazing three point. Wow, Aaron that was a amazing. beauty. We love to see that. Ryan Alberto just came over to the table telling us to watch the scoreboard and they're going to be cheating that. What do you think of that, Brian? Well, there was a questionable call from Jesse. He did foul AJ, but at the same time. Oh, and a steal by Cruz. Oh, my God. Cruz, Aaron, with Cruz the is on fire tonight. Cruz came here to play. Cruz has as much points as the staff already. Mr. Goldshaw, he's moving out there. Goldshaw, I mean, it's a one-man show, basically. Alvarez, oh, wow. You know, the students have amazing defense. Jael Martinez checks into the game. And I don't know why he's in sweatpants, but he's in sweatpants. You know, don't worry. That's not the only person we've seen in sweats. We had Nathan Canonias. You know, he, he had sweats on. As I explained earlier, you know, some people just really enjoy working out in their sweats, you know. Gets them a good sweat going. Mr. Violante with the ball. Passes it to Mr. Goldshaw. Beautiful bounce pass. Goldshaw. He's moving. With and the he bucket. makes the point. It's amazing. That's no good. From Josh Diaz and Jesse Pickens dribbling the ball down the court. It looks like we're having some camera difficulties, but Jesse just lost the ball to AJ Martinez. There we go. We are back with the commentator feed. Mr. Goldshaw is making his way down. Now, Brian, what do you th what do you think of this? How do you think it's Goldshaw going so pulls far? up and mm -hmm. shots no good. AJ Martinez gets the ball. Goes for the shot. And, and he makes good. it. You know, the students, they're, they're on fire. This really is a talented group of players here. But they're going to give him the two-pointer for that, actually. Oh, nope. Never mind. They just changed it to three. Find Violante. Violante with the ball. He passes it. Goal touch. Finds Jesse. Jesse with the ball. He goes to pass it. It does not look good for him as Brian Ramirez takes the ball. He goes and for the Brian Ramirez. Oh, my God. That is a – wow. This game's getting out of hand already. It really is. Now, if I'm correct, did they just give him two points? Yes, they did. Hmm. The accusations about the refs cheating the students <laughs> might be true. <laughs> the students, but the the students, students are not liking the refs' good. calls. They get the point. Well, the staff gets the point. We are currently fixing the problem with the game's camera, but we'll get back to you soon. From now, we'll keep the game going. Getting some foul shots from Mr. Goshaw. Wow, and he gets the point. And that is the end of the first quarter. Wow. Students are looking happy. At the end of the first quarter, it is 19 to 11. Students are up. It looks like they are dancing in a circle. Sammy was busting some moves out there.
You know, at halftime, we have a very special performance from Bergenfield High School's very own dance team. Now, the Bergenfield High School dance team just went to nationals this past season. And if I'm not mistaken, they took third at nationals, which is a great accomplishment. Mr. Papa starting off the second quarter. The game's back. Second quarter begins. And we the are going to get you that game feed right now. They're trying to fix the camera right now. Seems like the other camera went out, so they're taking our camera right now. The students are not happy with any of the calls being made in the staff's favor. While they are up, they do have the right to be upset. Anthony Vicioso with the ball. Goes for the shot. Goes up. And it is no good. First one Francisco that doesn't go in gets for the Vicioso. Ball, passes it to Ryan Alberto. No good either. And Francisco, and Francisco finally gets the ball. He in is the just basket. dominating the rebounds right now. Mr. Regasa making it down the court. Vicioso and with the steal. You know, they are moving out there. They score. Anthony Vicioso with the, with the score. You know, I will say, the students do have a bit of an advantage. Regasso with the pump fake gets Alberto jumping, but shot's no good. Mr. Jager passes it to Mr. Papa. Mr. Papa goes for the shot, and it is no good. Oh! And Mr. Massey, Mr. Massey goes, goes down. down. They can't capitalize on that, though. Jager with the ball. Mr. Rodriguez in the game. All right, Mr. Papa with the ball. Passes it to Regasa, who's being guarded by Jael Martinez. <laughs> Mr. Regasa with the pass. You know, I do know Mr. Massey happened to be a wrestler, so it's great to see him, you know, being out here playing basketball because, you know, it really goes to show how diverse our athletes are with their sports. Gabe Perez gets the ball from the staff. Beautiful passes steal from Perez. It. Oh! oh. He has to catch that beautiful pass by Perez using his quarterback skills. But I think that was Jaya Martinez. He has to catch that next time. And that looked a little bit like Mahomes from Gabe Perez. And I'm just loving it. And, and timeout, I think, by the staff. All right, so it looks like we're on a timeout. Can't really tell what's going on. Looks like they're having a very intense conversation over here with the students. All right, now they head back to the court. Game back in action. Mr. Regasso. Mr. Regasso with oh, the ball. passes it to Jager. Jager goes for the shot, and it is no good. Jordan passes it to his twin, Jael. Jael moves down court. Goes to the pass. It does not look like it was a good pass. You know, the student coaches are not happy. They, they look really mad the entire game. It's only the second quarter. Brian, do you think they have the right to be this mad? Well... I mean, I, I could see why they're mad back-to-back -back years. They don't even want to take a chance with a loss this year. 
They want to do everything right. Agreed, agreed. And I think Coach Jeff and Jacob with his other coach, Stephen Corella, could get the job done for them. Edgardo with wide open shot. layup and Gabe Perez beautiful rebound over Joe Lappy. Beautiful screen for Perez and no way they called the moving screen. Are you kidding wow. me? <laughs> no one is happy. I students cannot are not happy. believe what I'm seeing. We are not happy. Perez is confused. I'm confused. I can't believe this. Disregasa has the ball. It looks like... And wow, Jaio Martinez gets the ball. Makes it down the court. Scores! You know, although it looks like the refs are kind of refing in the favor of the staff, doesn't seem to be helping them out as much as the students are up 25-12. to 12. And another Jaio steal. gets the ball again. Is it going to alley-oop it to Perez? Perez! Oh my oh. goodness! He almost had it. Almost. Perez. God. Wow, blocks the pass, takes the hit. Francisco moves down court and scores. The student complete domination. Mr. Papa's moving. Another oh. steal. Oh, foul called. Wow. New lineup comes in for the students. Shots up, and it's good. AJ Martinez with the ball. Passes it to Aaron Cruz, who has made quite a good amount of shots today. AJ with the ball. <laughs> Misses the score. Mr. Papa moves down court, shoots, Bravo, and air blocked. balls. No, I think he got blocked there. Oh, okay. Cruz with that new balance national track speed gets past the defenders. Owen Gonzalez, you heard in our intro, he Beautiful is pass. quite the soccer player. But as you see, he's out here on the court. Multi-athletes once again. Love to see it. Shot's no good, but the staff just can't get a rebound. And the staff take a timeout. All right, so now we're going to come over to us while they take a timeout. You know, this game is looking good. Aaron Cruz is out there. And taking the court is Miss Bucket Heiser. All right, Miss Burkheiser is her real name, but, you know, coaching the girls' basketball team made such amazing accomplishments. It's good to see her out there. Mr. Lappy with the ball. Goes for the shot. Scores! You know, Mr. Lappy talked a lot of smack, you know, behind the scenes and before the game. One thing I heard from Lappy, he, wants, he has a personal rivalry with A.J. Martinez. He just doesn't like... Just how AJ talks about oh. the, the staff roster this year. Shigoshaw passes to Townsend. Townsend does not make the point. Oh, gets the rebound. They are just get it to go. Jesus. The rebound after rebound. And Great rebound. Eric Fias Fias. loses the ball. Oh, staff are not happy with the call. Oh, they all get right. It to the so the staff, staff gets the ball. I don't know if that was the correct call. I don't know either, honestly. This ball Melendez sure guarded. Townsend touched it last. Oh, passes to Townsend. Amazing pass, but and does not no get the good. point. Miss Townsend's playing aggressive, and we just love to see it. I think the students are starting to get into the staff's head already. I really do hope so. You know, the students are up 31-19. Now, I don't think they've seen a lead like this in the past two years because, well, it hasn't been good for them. Sammy DeLone with the ball. 
We love seeing Sammy out there. He passes Beautiful it all. Pass. To Isabel Melendez. Almost went back court there. Pass it to Anthony, who gives it to Julian. It's being guarded. Passes it to Sammy. Sammy Sammy's makes the shoots. shot, and it's no good. But it's all right. We love seeing Sammy Delone out there. Lappy with the ball. Passes it to Goldshaw. Goldshaw passes beautiful to pass. Berkheiser. Berkheiser makes. Oh, does not make the shot. The students make it down court. And wow, what an what, amazing play. And that's just something you expect to see out of the three-sport athlete, Francisco. And he comes down on the other end to get a steal. Miss Burkheiser with the pass. Oh. Kaiser inbounds it to Townsend and can't get it to go. And can't get it to go again. All right, another timeout. No. It's, oh, uh, it's a quarter ended. Sorry, I was not paying attention. You know, that was some aggressive playing in that last quarter. It was great to see. And now. As we enter halftime, we have, like I said before, the Bergenfield dance team, who took third at Nationals, will be doing their performance for us.
guys. Welcome back to the game. I'm here with Joe Lappy. Lappy, the score is 33 to 19 at halftime. What's going on out there? You know, we're just not executing the way that, that we had hoped. Um, but I think the second half, you're going to see a different game. What Lappy, do you got? Oh, are you aware okay. that you are 2-0 and when you are playing in these games? Yeah, uh, yeah, I know that we're two and zero, uh, and we're gonna we still plan on making it three and zero. But so you know, we just had a slow start. We're gonna have a better first half. But I mean, I'm sorry, I'm, I can't speak right now. We had a rough first half, but you know, second half we plan on coming out, changing a few things up, and, and I think we'll be ready to go. So you have no worry that the streak is gonna end. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not concerned yet. If you, if you see a score like this in the fourth quarter, then I'd be a little concerned. But right now, we have a lot of time left. A lot of basketball still to be played. And I think that we're gonna we're gonna do some things in the second half that that'll give them some problems. All right, Lappy, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, guys, go staff. Oh, I'm very hungry. Oh, All I know, bro, is I spent way too much money on DoorDash, and you know. Wait, but next next Wednesday, the twenty seventh, the school's holding a bas hosting a basketball game. Don't even trip, Hugo. Next week, we're giving away a DoorDash gift card at the students versus staff basketball game. Wednesday, the twenty seventh. Be there or be there. All right, and now we are back. Nah. All right, so. The shot of me and Brian. All right, so they're currently warming up right now. Hmm. All right, looks like they're wrapping up the warm up. Mr. Fasano out there. And we finally have our other camera working again, guys. We love to see that. We're really excited about this. Coach Jeff and Jacobs, he seems already mad. Third quarter hasn't even started, and he's already mad. He's trying to get the right subs in. You know, he has every right to. You know, he has every right. To be mad, you know they started off strong, you know, but now scores 33 to 30. No, that's, that score is oh, that's up. wrong. That was not 33 to 30 before. 
Ryan Alberto coming down court. And Cruz oh. can't miss those type of layups, but he beautiful pass and another missed layup. More missed layups. What is going on? Oh, and the ball goes in create into the students bench. Like Wow. Jeffin is not happy, guys. Gossa dribbling down the court. You know, I think the, the, the staff are maybe cheating a little bit because yeah. I'm pretty sure that score was not 33-30 before. Julian Santos, beautiful steal, beautiful layup. You know, maybe we could get on that and ask someone about the score. Unless the staff need it that bad that they need a, you know, need a boost like that. Mr. Massey with the ball. Passes to Miss Ruiz. Miss Ruiz goes for the shot. No good. Wow. Bravo. Wow. I think this game is, is a little rigged. Lots of questionable calls. What are we thinking about this, man? Football doesn't lie at the end of the day. So the students got to get back on defense and be ready to play no matter what. Jeff, and you, you might be able to hear him yelling from the bench. He's upset. Mr. V goes for the shot, misses. Santos you know, I think we rebound. finally see why they need that boost in the score. Paez with Paez the bucket. Goes for the shot. No good again. Paez, what are we doing, Paez? Josh Diaz gets the Josh steal. Josh the ball. Moves down court. Oh, v stripped by V. Stops him. He's got three people on him. Passes to Owen. Owen, Owen shots you know, no good. We expect more out of Owen. We have breaking news. The Sueros are in the building. They, they have came back entered the, the staff. Softball game. They've entered the student. My apologies. The student bench. Hopefully, you know, they can help. Although, I don't know if they need it, but, you know, we'll definitely take the help. Gosh, the Sueros just came line. back from a scrimmage in Weehawk and for the softball team. And we wish the softball team a lot of luck this season. Both Daisha Suero and Isabella Suero are multi-athletes doing basketball, track, softball, anything, you name it, pretty much. So we love to see that. I think we have some uh, IT representation out on the court. Dal Martinez brings the ball up the court. He's looking like a 2K character out there. The pass to AJ Martinez, his shot's no good. Rebound by Papa. Papa dribbles, he pulls up. Wow. And the shot's Misses. no good. Jordan Martinez makes it down the court. Oh! Martinez, oh! The IT department. Representation gets taken down. He just absolutely dropped him, but the foul was called. Papa dribbling down. And stolen by Jail Martinez. Another steal. The from twins Gio. tripping each other up. Jail passes to no pass. one. Oh. <laughs> wow. He, AJ Martinez kept it in the game. Wow. These foul calls are crazy. Jeff and Jacob 
is going absolutely ballistic. Coach Steven Carella wants an explanation now. Shot, and it's an air ball. Sammy Dillon with the ball passes it to Andre. Sammy Delone with the ball, goes for the shot, and scores! Sammy Delone! We love to see it! Oh my god, what an amazing layup by Sammy. I gave him a special request, but whenever Justin throws a fishing fit, this is Sammy Damon. Pass to Jael. Jael with the layup. Deja, it's so we can see. <laughs> you know, it looks like a lot of these calls are in the staff's favor. Yes, my Pretty God. interesting. At this point, I'm ready to see... Like some some dance moves and trick moves like the Harlem Globetrotters. I just can't believe what I'm seeing from this officiating crew. It's a whole circus pointed. out here. Wow! Oh, Andre with an amazing shot. Scores 42-32. Students in the lead with amazing players like that. You know, it, how could you not see these kinds of scores? Mattel does lead the, the basketball team in three-point percentage. And he's. And it seems like Edgardo gets fouled from three pointers. The Sueros have entered the court. He's going to take three free throws right now. Foul shot. Makes it. Deja Swirl with the ball. Starts making her way down the court. Andre no. goes for another amazing shot. Does not make it. I'm not 100% sure if that was out. It looked like Anthony could have saved it. But great effort from Vicioso. He tried, but... The ref didn't give him the call in his favor that time. Mr. Papa with the ball. Gardo can't catch the ball this time. He's going to have to use his hands next time, not his, not his body. See also. Ryan Alberto with the ball. Makes it up. And scores. Wow. The IT guy from way downtown. Are you what an amazing shot. Now, I had no clue Roddy can ball. You know, we see tons of surprises with... Everyone in this building being super talented. Ryan Alberto passes it to Isabella Suero. Isabella's being guarded. Pass to Ryan. Pass to Anthony. Being guarded by Mr. Jager. Takes an amazing shot. That was a beautiful step back three from the CEO. So that's just his shot. And no one can seem to guard it. This is, you know... Insane to see. And another timeout from the staff. Jeff yeah. celebrating with his players as he should. We see some dancing.
You know, now let's talk about some players out there. For the students, we have Ryan Alberto. Ryan Alberto has been doing pretty well for himself out there in the court. And, you know, Ryan, he is such a talented guy. He plays basketball for the school. But he also has his own podcast, Couch Talks, Catch It, anywhere on any pretty much streaming platform you can find podcasts on. You know, we love seeing him out there. Francisco Valdez, amazing, amazing football player. We just have such amazing people out there. Thank you. We're out of timeout finally. I'm going to leave this here, okay? Jesse Biggins dribbling the ball down the court. Mr. Alvarez from three. Can't get it to go. Alvarez gets his own rebound. Wow. Josh Diaz with the ball. Passes to AJ. Passes it to Ryan. Who we were just talking about. Goes for a shot. Does not make so it. Francisco Valdez. Another wow. rebound. One of the best rebounders this year. Francisco Valdez. Pass to Miss Ruiz. Finds Burkheiser in the corner. And she can't get it to go. Mr. Massey with the ball. Gets Goes stolen. for a pass. Does not get it right. Josh with the ball. Passes. It. Oh, my God. You know, we just love seeing this out here. Steal by Isabella Melendez. Oof. And it's no good. Francisco, Francisco from for three. The shot. And still no good. This might be the uprise for the staff. They can only hope. AJ goes for the point. Nope. And Jeff and Jacob actually takes a shot as a coach. Now, I do not believe he should be doing this. But, you know, I think at this point, they're taking the lead and, you know, Jeffen does what he wants. All right, now. Why don't we get to talking about some of our players? You know, we have on our students, Nathan Canonias, who is a state qualifying wrestler this past season, went 34-11 and with several offers. Nate committed to Bridgewater State University for wrestling. Another player, Gabe Perez, male athlete of the week, 126 tackles this football season, first team all county. Committed to the University of New Haven. You know, we are so proud of our seniors. And we are looking forward to following them in their futures. Staff, are you trying to get a last second shot here before the quarter ends? Find gold shot. Gold shot Double team three. Ooh. No good. No good shot. That's the end of the third quarter. One more quarter to go. Can the students finally do it this year? Can they break their losing record? Oh, I'm very hungry. Oh, I know, bro. It's I spent way too much money on DoorDash, and you know. Wait, but next next Wednesday, the 27th, the school's holding a bas hosting a basketball game. 
Don't even trip, Hugo. Next week, we're giving away a DoorDash gift card at the Students vs. Staff basketball game. Wednesday, the 27th. Be there or be there. And we're back. Fourth quarter. Pretty close game. Townsend with the ball. Being blocked by Celine. Celine goes down the court. Beautiful pass, pass but they just can't make the layup. Lappy out there. We heard from him at halftime. Gold shot. You know, they're just... It out. Thought these students no are good. covering everyone heavily. Aaron Cruz is taking the ball down the court. Aaron Cruz with the ball. Aaron Cruz showing us his dribbling moves. Tries to get through two defenders. And that should wow. be a foul. I can't believe that Miss T just did that. That is the fastest man on the track team. She needs to be wow. careful. I'm at a loss for Someone words. better not show McCaffrey that. He does have sensitive hamstrings. Glad to see Aaron back on his feet. That could have been a dangerous play. Wow. And the staff score, making this, making it a tied score. Oh, Celine, Celine with an three. amazing shot and misses. You know, the staff came out of nowhere with their comeback. And Goldshaw with the bucket. You know. And all of a sudden, the staff have the lead. I don't know how, wow. but they have the lead. Rush Aaron the Cruz, ball, passes to Aaron, and the layup. What is Cruz doing? Perez oh, with the, with the oh, oh, my God. That was oh. the most beautiful steal I've seen in my life from Perez. You Perez know, Gabe is, is moving out there. Wow. Amazing hustle from Perez. I think they might have caught a backcourt on Perez. I'm not sure. Miss T with the ball. Perez Gabe with the ball again. We're seeing rebound. a whole bunch of action from Lappy with the ball. Lappy, Lappy goes for a layup, and it's not looking it. but good. But another rebound from Perez. Perez is on fire. Aaron with the ball. Can't get the Ooh. shot to go. Goldshaw so trying to find Miss T. She's getting guarded by Perez. Great Johnson, defense from you Perez. Know, they're going for every shot. They're missing a lot of them unless they get close to that, that basket. That They're not getting anything. And another basket. The staff have the lead by four. And Jeffin, here comes all the frustration now. He, Jeff doesn't know what to do. He came out with an amazing game plan, but. You know, we were hearing so much smack between Lappy and a whole bunch of students. You know, I heard, overheard in class, Lappy going at it with Deja Suero. We have Gabe Perez over here. He's going loud, heading back to the bench. Jeff you know, it's a great game. You know, student, staff, they're coming back. It's it's impressive. You know, they were down heavily, and they came back after halftime. They're in the lead. You know, my prediction may end up being right. Lappy's trying to lead this team to victory. He's still so dribbling the ball. He's moving. Goes for the pass to no one. To nobody. Who is there? Wow. Bisciotto. I think he's got to check his eyes before passing that ball. We don't see that a lot from Vicioso, but that was that just wasn't the best play to make. Jager finds Miss T wide open in the paint, but she can't. Francisco moving down court. Using he's that track moving. Speed. Goes for the shot and it's blocked. Oh, 
Jeffin thinks there should have been a foul call. You know, Mr. Ragasa, he is moving out there. Seems like they wanted a foul call there. And we hear Alberto screaming from here. I don't know what is going on. This is going to be a terrible way to lose. The students could possibly blow a 10-point lead. There's about 4 minutes and 50 seconds left on the clock. You know, I, 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 don't, I don't know how this has come to what it is. It's just Jager Lappy comes leading in with this the team. Ball. Lappy and Goldshaw. Lappy and Mr. Rodriguez. He told us at halftime he wants to keep that streak alive. And they may end up doing that. Jager looking for someone to pass. Lappy with the ball. It's being guarded by Francisco. Lappy to Goldshaw. To Jesse. Or no, Jager, sorry. Finds Miss T. Wow. She gets fouled. You know, Deja does not look happy down there. Miss T is going to get two free throws. Wow. Staff with another score. We're losing a little bit of feed, but we're getting that right back. Francisco. Francisco Valdez no misses on a wide shot. open layup. That's out on the staff. Was that not out on the staff? I guess not, Michael. Jager slowly dribbling down the court. And the students, they haven't gotten a bucket in a while. Lappy with the ball. He wants Francisco one-on-one. -on -one. He's been calling him out all week. Lappy passes out. You know who claimed to be an isolation king? Eric Paez, also known as Truck. You know, he was making some heavy claims. And an and one. Are you kidding me? The students are blowing it. They're blowing They're it. They're losing their heavy lead. It's, it's, it's insane to see. I don't even think they scored a point this fourth quarter, Michael. No, I don't believe they have. Miss Townsend. To the free throw line. Oh. And All it's right. good. She makes the point. Scores 59-51. Missy also to... making it down court. Jael Martinez for the shot. And, and it's, it's good. good. Finally a bucket from the students. You know, this is what they need to come back. They need their strong players out there. You know, there's not a lot of time left in this quarter. Lappy. Layup is good. Vicioso, he wants to shoot that three. He wants it. He goes for it, and Can't it is no it good. Time. But Jai with the rebound. Jai getting pushed by Townsend. No good. And Francisco with the rebound, but over the back it's, hall. And it is no good. 61-54. How has the score come to this, Brian? I can't I believe no this. Idea. The students got too confident. That they did. Seems like a timeout is called. Now, in my opinion, they shouldn't have came out as strong as they did in those first two quarters. What do you think, Brian? I just think they just they just need some shots to start falling. In the first, everything was falling, but ever since. It hasn't yeah. been the same. And I feel like there's a little too much selfish play, Michael. Gabe Perez subbed back and into Cardo the game. Gonzalez That's the exactly ball. what they Being needed right now. Being guarded by Deja Suero. 
heavy on the defense. The ball gets to Lappy, who passes it to Regassa. Regassa stands there looking for someone to pass to. I like this matchup with Perez on Lappy. If Gabe is on you, no one's getting around him. Looks like Gabe's got the ball. Passes it to Jael. Jael with the ball. And it is good. You know, if we see more of those shots, they may, just may, have a slim chance of coming back with two minutes and 20 seconds left in the quarter. They call him goal on me. Can't guard me. They're scared. Same thing with me. I want to see if we can get a student from the bench and get their opinion on how this game is going. All right. All right. And matter of fact, we got Julian yeah. Santos. Julian coming in. What you need? What you need? Julian, just express yourself. How do you? How are you feeling right now? So I'm feeling feeling pretty good, even though we're down right now. We're down by five. I think the people out now could really make a difference to this game. Play good D. Uh, get some points up on board, and when we got it, just play. Play the game, play the game, look. Oh, and Perez, oh no. Oh, oh no. no, Perez. A turnover, Perez. what is this? It's going on, but hey, I got my four points up on board. And You know what, the more I think about it, that wasn't Perez's fault. That ball was coming in really hot. A little Perez bit too hot, a little yeah, bit too hot. Perez you know? does not make mistakes like yeah, that. We all know Perez. Yeah, going D2, you know, but. New Haven linebacker. New Haven. We love Perez here. Yeah, but look. One minute, 33 seconds, we could get five points. I think so. A minute, 30. This isn't looking so good, Julian. It's not. Miss T. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, and an and one. Oh, that my God. That could be God. the dagger. That could be the dagger. It could be. I, I, I'm going to let it go. But thank you for having me. I got you. Thank you, Julian, for coming on. I can't believe this. What happened? The strong start from the students. Miss T to the free throw line. And it is good. You know, I don't see a comeback. I don't see a comeback in the students' future. And I think my prediction will be right. The staff will keep their winning streak going. You can never say never, Michael. I still have hope. You know, you can have your hope. But right here, I have facts. So you can't deny these facts that the staff will win this game. And Perez has been subbed off. Anthony Vicioso with the three to get them back in the game. A minute 12 left. Wow, 64-63. I may have just talked way One. too much and jinxed the staff's streak. Wow. Perez back into the game. To shut down Lappy. I don't think Lappy scored a single point on Perez. That's just what an amazing defender Perez is. Regatta, trying you know, to a lot of Frank. these people are all talk, but sometimes they just can't walk the walk. Lappy, Lappy with the ball. Being guarded by Perez. Lappy moves. Picks it they out. lose the ball. Can Vicioso save it? What a he save. saves it for Gabe. And Gabe with the Perez layup. 65-64 for the students. Perez shows up There's, when it matters most. There is half a minute left in this final quarter. An amazing hustle play from Anthony. But an even more amazing layup from Perez. That's what I'm loving from Perez. He just does it all. Gabe, would you like to come on for a minute? <laughs> he is too involved in this game. That play, amazing positioning from Perez. We know, you know, we just saw some camaraderie. I don't know if it was captured on the cam. We saw the coach hugging his players. They're very excited out there. But the game's not over yet, Michael. 36 no, seconds No, there left. isn't. A lot can happen in those 36 seconds. So what is Celine smiling at? This is not the time to be joking around with your coach, Celine. What? Jager passes I have no idea what's going on. 
And Lappy is pushed out of bounds. A push call. I don't know if I can agree with that one. I don't know if Perez pushed him there. No, I think he did. It, it, I'm it, gonna it, have it, to it, debate it. on that one. I think another foul was just called. You know, the main goal for these students, they, they, they gotta play defense. You know, they gotta hold it where they're at. Inbound to Jager. Jager with the sh oh. Guarding he's by Salim. Great he defense. Go, he's Salim. looking for the pass, and he does not get it. Perez on the help. Great help from Perez. Lappy with the ball. And he calls a timeout. You know, I don't think Lappy can handle the heat that he is getting. Perez has absolutely, Perez checked into the game and shut him down. And that's just what Perez does. He's done it on the football field. Now he's doing it on the basketball court. And he's going to do it at New you Haven. You know, coming in, we have alumni Brendan Pinto. Brian, why don't you hop on the uh, hop on mic for a minute so I can talk to Brendan? <laughs> Brendan, thank you for coming on. Oh my God. It's a pleasure I seeing you. It. Thank you, so much. you know, I see that you've been watching in the chat. What do you think of this game so far? Um, honestly, I I I'm just thinking the same thing you guys are thinking. Like, you know, staff came out nice. We have a talented grade here, of course. Um, but you know, just Hi, sometimes, hey, sometimes you know, stamina could run out, and yeah. But but right now, it's it's on the line. I really, it I really, really is. don't know anymore. Well, we, we thank you very much for coming on. I hope of you course. enjoy the rest of the game. Thank you so much, Mike. This is a close game, one it point really game. Is. Students up by one. Thirteen seconds left. I think they got to give the ball to Lappy. You know, that would be amazing to see. And just as you said, Lappy gets the ball. He moves up. Oh, oh no. foul called. Was it called? I think Lappy's going to go to the line here. Wow. It was called. Can Lappy save it here in the last six seconds? What do you think, bro? All he has to do is make one. He's got to make that tie one. It up. This is a really important shot. And Lappy makes it, tying the game with six seconds left. He's got one more shot to take the lead. He goes for it. It is no, no good. No good. And the students call a timeout. Four seconds left in the game. Tied game. But, Michael, I just want to point something out. Perez gets the rebound, and Perez has the situ situational awareness to call a timeout. Perez knows the situation. He's been in these situations before. Yes, he has. Amazing play by Perez. High IQ play by Perez. Very, very smart decisions being made by the students. You can almost say they're almost pro. Yep. They're drawing up a play here. You know, the students, everyone looks like they're having so much fun out there, and I'm really happy for them. Here we go. Child's Four begging seconds. for that ball. To end the drought. Jaya with the ball, and it's no good. Wow. But I think he's going to get a Point foul three call. seconds left. Two shots for Jaya. Zero point three seconds. Oh.
Jael has the chance to save the game here. And it's he takes good. the lead. Now, I don't know if you noticed, the time had just moved up to 20 seconds left in this game. You know, it's a whole circus out here. Tons of fun, tons of talent. And Jael airballs it, not even close. That could have cost the team the game. An air ball free throw. Oh, it looks like they're bringing the time down. You know, it's very confusing on what's happening here with the, with the time. It looks like they're putting about 10 seconds left on the clock. Deja Suero walks across, gets herself a snack. That's how comfortable these students are and and how confident they are that they have this game in the bag. Ooh, Francisco Denies the pass. And Lappy, no wow! And Lappy calls a timeout. This is amazing stuff. Frank could have dribbled the clock out, but instead he tried to take the layup and he missed. I, Francis, this is, and this is what I'm talking about. They need a veteran like Perez. Exactly. We saw what Perez did. This is exactly Perez what they need. Perez doesn't waste time. Perez saves time. Francisco's waste, like, I just can't believe. Rookie mistake from Valdez. If Perez was there, he would have dribbled the clock out. 100%. Jeffin is getting out there. He is. He doesn't look happy with his players. He gave. He is upset with the time. He's he's arguing with his other coach. He just gave the staff another chance to win the game. Seems like they're going to keep Frank in the game after that mistake. Five point five seconds left. All right. Gaming up they're a play for Lappy. He gets denied. And Lappy. Wow. It's going to stay. It's going to still go the the staff's way. Now, what did the refs just call there? I missed it. No idea, but all we know is that the, the staff is getting the ball, Michael. Wow. Alvarez is inbounding the ball. Lappy with the ball. He's tripping over he himself. Can't, can't keep his hands Perez, on the ball. Perez has it. Perez. And they secured it. And they do it. That is the game. 66. 65 students have broken their losing streak. And an amazing play by Perez. Perez does what Frank Everyone seems to be absolutely ecstatic over there. You can hear them chanting MVP, carrying Anthony. Wow, what an impressive game. Tons of talent on both sides. You know, I want to give quick shout outs to the dance team. Thank you very much for them for performing at our halftime. You know, we had such amazing talent out there like Janelle Lopez, Isabella Castillo, Sydney Rodriguez, and the entire dance team. Just absolutely amazing. We have Mr. Edgardo Gonzalez over here. He's very excited. It's all right. It's all right. Truck out here. You know, everyone is just really happy. Now, that's the game, folks. The final score, 66-65, going to the students. Congrats to them in what was an amazing game. I want to thank everyone in our production crew, Anastas Abreu, who is an amazing help. Don't forget about me. 
<laughs> an amazing help out here for putting together this live stream. Thank you very much, Onassis. We want to thank all of our cameramen, Hayden, John. Thank you very much. One big special shout out to Mr. Lappy, Mr. Melendez. We wouldn't be able to do it without them. Mr. Cruz out here looking good. Um, do you want to see? Oh, we're going to have one. Yep, yep, I got it. Yeah, why don't you? All right, all right, we have the coach coming in. Now, what are your thoughts? Was this the result you were expecting? Um, I was definitely expecting a win. You know, I, I told mm -hmm. my players, we're going to go in there, watch film right before, get some okay. shots up right before. Um, staff, they were they won two years late. They won two years prior, so I knew I wanted it to be different this year, and uh, I'm glad we got out there and we, and we performed. You know yeah. It was an impressive game. You know, your team had an insane amount of talent. Now, I will say, there seems to be a lot of crazy calls out there. Now, were you scared those calls were going to affect the result of your game? Extremely. Um, I ain't gonna lie. It was. Uh, I was. It was definitely nerve wracking. You mm -hmm. know, seeing that the they were they were leaning towards the staff. Um, I did expect it though. You know, they were kind of switching up the scores. I could. I tried to say as much. I tried to do as much as I could do, but I couldn't really. You know, yeah, fight against them. we saw how mad you guys were, but, you know, you guys came out on top. Thank you very much, Coach. You know, congrats to the team, and thanks for coming on once again. Thank you, sir. No problem. Now, you can look forward to a mic'd up series, hopefully, by Caleb Garcia of this game. Keep Stay tuned for that. Uh, once again, thank you very much. Once One more time, I'm Michael Mendez. Brian Pito was here with me. This has been an amazing night. Thank you very much for watching.